Hey, this is Jonathan Clark's Scooter, and I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of how to work your uh, mobile radios. Um, this is for the Replant Training website. A lot of people, especially tree planters, don't seem to know how to use the radios properly. So I'm just going to give you a quick background on them, what they are. There's a lot of different radios out there. Um, some of the more popular models, the TAD, um, ICOM makes radios, Midland, Motorola. Anyway, most of them are fairly similar. Uh, this one's a VHF radio, which stands for Very High Frequency. And that means that the frequency range used by this radio is generally around 150 to 160 kilohertz. Um, it varies a bit. Um, there's also UHF radios, ultra high frequency radios, and those are more in the 400s, I believe, for the uh, frequency range, kilohertz. Anyway, um, to give you a bit of background on how this particular radio works, simple volume knob to the right is louder, to the left is softer. Um, to turn it off, you push the power in. To turn on, push it again. Uh, the big knob here is a channel selector, and so I can flip between different channels. Um, right now, I'm on uh, channel 95, which happens to be, well, no, not anymore. Uh, anyway, the, the different channels here have road names, 98, CFI, 99, Sekunka, um, I guess the display button is one useful thing to go to start with. So you've got four different display types for the channel. First is the channel number and the channel name. Hit display again and uh, you get to channel number plus frequency 151.325. Hit display again and it shows the channel still but it says whether or not there's a tone on the channel. And finally the fourth hit it just goes channel 99 nothing else. So I usually like to leave it on the uh, the name of the channel makes it a little easier to use. Um, privacy, I don't actually use privacy so I don't know what that does. Um, scan, if you hold scan in it starts scanning for you between different channels um, looking for chatter on one of the channels. And finally program, program is a good one because this channel, this radio, uh, the channels only go up to 99 so there's uh, 99 channels but there's four different banks and each bank will hold 99 channels. So actually it holds 396, I guess. Um, so to get to a different bank, all you have to do is hit program once, and it shows that I'm in bank one right now. And so if I turn this knob, I go to bank two. So if I turn the bank, uh, if I hit program again, it goes out of the bank mode, and it shows that I'm on channel one, which is, um, what is that, Takuma? Takuma Road Channel. Um, if I go into the banks and then flip up to bank three, get out of bank, uh, all all clear. There's actually nothing programmed into this particular radio on banks three or four, just one and two. So anyway, I'm going to go back to bank one, which is the one I usually use. Turn it off, and I can see what channels I'm on. So one is ANC, two Miller Western Channel, uh, road, their first road channel. So, so that's the basic function of the radio. Most radios exactly the same. The, uh, the thing that matters most, that most people don't understand, is how a squelch button works. And this is so critical if you're out in the woods planting. Um, not all radios have a squelch button. If you have one without, that kind of sucks for you. But anyway, squelch basically is like a way of adjusting how sensitive the radio is. So if you're tree planting and you want to hear people from as far away as possible and be able to talk to them as far away as possible, which is usually the case, then what you want to do is set your squelch so that it picks up the, it has the most sensitivity. It picks up the faintest conversations. So anyway, this knob, if it's all the way to the right, what it does is it has the least sensitivity. It only picks up extremely strong transmissions, so it only picks up conversations that are close to you. As you move the knob counterclockwise or to the left, it starts picking up signals that are fainter and fainter, which of course mean they're probably further and further away. So you get to the point eventually where you hear a loud crashing noise. Okay, that means that it's so sensitive, I've got it set to be so sensitive, it's picking up background noise and thinks that faint background noise, white noise, pink noise, is, uh, it thinks it's a conversation. And so it broadcasts it over the radio's speaker. But right now, 
There's no conversation. Anyway, if I've got somebody a couple of miles away from me, then probably I'll hear them no matter where this dial is set. But if I've got someone about 20 or 30 kilometers away, if I've got the radio set way over to here, I'm not going to hear them probably. If I, the best way to set this is to, uh, is to turn your squelch knob all the way counterclockwise till it makes the noise. And then just a tiny bit back to the right. So by doing that, you don't have that annoying background noise all the time, but you do have the most sensitivity, the least amount of squelching, like squelching means to cut out uh, stuff you don't want to hear. So I guess the way to look at it is, say you were in a city and there were thousands of people using this frequency and you want to hear the people closest to you, like a taxi cab company, I don't know. Um, by turning the squelch up to the highest setting, you're squelching out the multitude of the fainter signals. Anyway, turn it all the way left, get the noise, then just a tiny bit more right, you're going to pick up the faintest signals. That's the most important thing to learn about these radios. Um, that's about it. Enjoy.